All right, y'all, y'all. What, what it do, YouTube? This is your boy, Shaver Speech. Right now, I'm going to talk to you guys about Black Lightning. Season 1, Episode 8, Revelations. And <laughs> boy, do we get a lot of freaking revelations, so to speak. Now, now during Anissa's training, you know, uh, Jefferson teaching her and teaching her that, listen, all because, you know, you still don't hurt a civilian just based off of their, uh, their, their, their view on, on the world. You know, for example, like a, like a white supremacist, you don't hurt someone if they're not a threat to you. Um, things of that nature. And then also there's a news coverage pretty much saying that how Black Lightning should just go back to where he came from since he killed Lady Eve because, you know, she got vaporized by lightning so everyone thinks immediately thinks, oh, it's Black Lightning that killed her. Even some brothers just think, okay, so now he first killed her. Now one guy said, well, okay, wait a second. Now he's killing young black brothers. Now he's killing young black women. So what, like, what's next? Children? Grandmothers? Like, like the elderly? Like, like, what's next? You know? And so... A lot of people that just are not feeling Black Lightning right now. They all think they're all pointing their fingers at that guy, and it's not really true. So now Black Lightning and Anissa are trying to pretty much exonerate his name, clear his name. Because we all know he's not with that. You know, I like how one guy in, during the news coverage said that that's why he wears a mask. Because he does, he does, because he doesn't want to see looks on people's faces or something of like that variation. He knows he's messed up. So we look at these young guys and practicing his performance at Tobias's old club. And Octavius walks in, newly revived, and they're just like shocked, like, they're like, wait a second, we heard that you died, bruh. Like, we heard rumors that you were just, that you were just dropped off, that you died. And he said, look, I like that song, keep playing it. No, I will say this, what I like about Octavius now, he's a very born uh, Octavius, you know, what I've noticed is that his little chest tattoo um, changed to, from the face of Lady Eve to Lawanda. And she's been appearing a lot. So I wonder, like, what's up with that? Excuse me. And now we see Peter Gamby. So we see Gam Gamby meet up with his former ASA associate, Mark. And you know, he said, look, Peter, look, I like the fact that you've taken a very, I like, always like your measured approach to things, but we're going to take Black Lightning out. I mean, this is no other way of doing it. You know, and even Peter said, like, well, how do we know we did that? Like, there's no evidence on it so far. We're only basing, we're only basing it off of public opinion. And, you know, there's no investigation being done. So basically, pretty much his old man, he's like, you know, like, like, like what is it? Like, what are these people of Freeland done for this place? I mean, they should be lucky that they're just being, you know, just experimented on. I mean, their fruits deep fried, taste disgusting. I mean, they should be begging for us the fact that they should, that they're getting tested. I mean, we changed them. I can tell Gamby just really doesn't really mess with this right now, man. Like, I, I feel so bad for Gamby, though, man. Only because, like, he's he's on two conflicting sides. Like, he wants to protect, you know, a friend's son, like, which is Alvin Pierce, you know, and his grandson and his grandchildren. But at the same at the same time, you know, he's still, he's conflicted with the loyalty of ASA, you know, the, the, the private military uh, government militant group, you know, he's, that was loyal to for over 30 years. Now we see Lynn and Jefferson talking, you know, Lynn's asking about Nessa's training, she's doing really well, things like that, you know, and Jefferson, you know, Lynn is still really worried about her being out on there on, on the field, because, you know, she doesn't want anything bad to happen to her, her baby, of course, you know, no parent does, but of course Jefferson's like, hey, 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 no cast off your thoughts, none of that stuff, like, we can get through this. Oh, this is really interesting right here. <laughs> Very interesting. Jennifer is cleaning up Lynn's lab with her, and she is so freaking bored. Like she'd rather be doing things better, texting her friends and things like that. And so, which I find more funny is the fact that, you know, Jennifer's. I don't, I don't find this funny, but I've noticed this. Jennifer is starting to find, figure out, and you're starting to notice that Jefferson and Anissa were just arguing, and now they're like 98 and 2, as she put it. And she's just wondering why it's been like that, you know. And Lynn's just like, she just deflects and says, you know, families fight all the time. You know, that happens. You know, because she's noticed that, you know, Jefferson and Anissa act weird around her. And that makes a lot of sense. You know, it happens. And so now Lynn looks for the research that she had in the box last time that it was robbed. And it's missing. So now Lynn has to go and make calls and see, okay, like, where did it go? You know, like, did it was it stolen during the robbery? Like, like what else happened? So we're about to see what happens. So, Black, I'm sorry. So, Pierre, so Jefferson and Anissa are at the morgue getting ready to investigate Lady Eve's body. 
and the rest of the victims during the shootout it was between Tobias Church and Lady Eve. And so what they notice is that, well, I'm sorry, what, a no, what Anissa notices is whenever Black Lightning strikes, his lightning goes in a tree pattern. And on Lady Eve's arm, I'm assuming that that is, there's no tree-like pattern, you know, in lightning. Uh, I forget the term of it. I think Gammy, the term of it when that lightning strikes the tissue, I forget what it's called. Damn, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, it makes a tree-like um, visualization. It, I'm sorry, it makes like a tree. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if the woman at the, at the morgue would had struck by the black lightning, struck by lightning, she would have a fractural pattern but known as Liptonberg. Um, syndrome. She would have something called Liptonburg, you know, scarring, which she does not have. So, which that, so pretty much that right there is a nice, a, a nice little tree branch, no pun intended, to exonerate Black Lightning's name. Now, coincidentally, Lynn goes into the, her uh, little pharmacy to figure out, okay, I hear that I, I'm here to pick up a little package that I had that came here. She's like, look, we got robbed. She's like, wait, what? And she was like, well, yeah, we got robbed. We thought it was maybe junkies or whatever. And so this is what happened. Now, what I find really interesting is that these are probably the same people that robbed Lynn's lab as well. So, this is pretty messed up right now. This is a really big setback for Lynn and Black Lightning. The pharmacy lady comes through and said there might be a copy of Lynn's research in the 2B file. Thank goodness. So, now we see Jennifer at, at her school putting up posters, and her friend is about to fall off a ladder. She's telling her to get off the ladder because she might break her neck or whatever. And so. All of a sudden, her powers emerge. Oh, sorry, people! The birth of a lightning, the birth of lightning is now here. It's a really about to get lit now. <laughs> All right, so Octavius is getting drove home, and the Wanda spirit keeps talking to him. She's talking about, you know, you used to run things here. You know, you, these guys might try to kill you. You gotta watch yourself, and things like that. And Octavius is like, look, they're not gonna kill you. Those guys are my man. It's like those guys, I trust those guys. And so the driver's like, hey, yo, boss, you all right? He's like, yeah, I'm cool. And they're noticing, and see, the thing is, they don't see, of course they don't see Wanda, but they see Octavius, they hear Octavius talking, and see his mouth moving, so it makes them look like he's probably going crazy or something. I mentioned, like, listen, they might try to take your spot. And he's like, look, no one can take my spot, dead or alive. I'll admit, you know, hearing Wanda talk is a little strange, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, again... Gamby does not want Jefferson to go even further than this, because now they're they're looking for radiation isotopes to track down, you know, the, the, ra the radiation emitted from the burns or, or the weapon that was used to kill the women and those people, and so they track it down somewhere now. And this and Jefferson go to investigate. When an ASA's guys comes out, a rogue or dirty police officer tries to contaminate the evidence. He doesn't. He try to be picks up the gun. And he doesn't even know what he's doing with it, and he gets fried to bits. And this ends up saving Jefferson and her own life. You know, and Jefferson's so giddy, and he's so filled with nervous that he can't really believe it. All right, so now Lynn, you know, matches the DNA of, of Alan <coughs> Pierce's uh, research with that DNA of someone of green light. Turns out it's a match. It could be a vaccine. That's what I'm thinking. So now I feel like Gamby needs to do some explaining. So Lynn talks to Jefferson, and she says, look. I found a match. It could be a vaccine. You need to talk to Gamby right now. Ask him all the questions that you always want to ask him that we never got answers to. Because if you really think about it, we really don't know jack shit about Peter Gamby at all. So tonight, so hearing this new revelation of the DNA match of Alvin Pierce's research and that of DNA of the green light and how it's affected, really, really should answer a open up a lot of doors to what really went down 30 years ago about this whole wood scene with uh, Nissa and Jefferson, not only is it a little funny, it has those little quirks right there, but then also, Vanessa asked um, Jefferson a really good question. Like, when did you start becoming Black Lightning? You know, who trained you? You know, to which Jefferson said, look, I really waited a long time to become Black Lightning. I really didn't know, learn, didn't know anything until Gamby started training me about everything, you know, combat, you know, analysis, you know, recon, things of that nature, something of that variation of terms. So it's really nice to see this information being shared. Oh, wait, 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 hold the fuck up. <laughs> wait a minute. So, Gamby's real name is, isn't is really Gamby. It's actually Peter 
Espinito. And he worked for ASS. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not ASS, but ASA. <laughs> you know, 30 years ago, you know, and it's a private federal government agency. And they went to Greenland to test out a vaccine, I guess you could say it, a vaccine, if you will, for green light. I'm sorry, to test out green light, and they created a vaccine. And Peter gave that information to Jefferson's father, and he put it out there. And that's what got his father, Jefferson's father, killed. And, of course, Jefferson right now is fucking livid, and he wants to kill Gammy, but he's not going to. So... Well, we'll see what happens next week. Man, that is crazy. But then also, you know, Anissa learns. I'm sorry, Jennifer goes to Anissa and shows her, like, look, I have powers. <laughs> oh, next week is going to be lit, man. I can't wait to see it. You know, in, in, you know, in closing, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and things of that nature. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below as well.